Hey, welcome to February 2018. I'm Jason Cheese and I've got your price real estate team market update. Not much changing. I mean, we're really seeing that continuing trend of low listing inventory for the Levin St. Thomas market. We do have something to blame it on for January though. Um, let's just blame it on the weather. There was snow, there was cold. People don't like listing their houses and I completely get it. Uh, year over year, January last year, we had about 900 new homes listed. This year we were about 620. Uh, so that's definitely a, a, a drop. Although we're hoping to see that, uh, that warm weather through the spring and, uh, and sooner than later so that way we can get some, uh, some homes sold uh, for you first time buyers especially because there's, there's, uh, th there's a hole there. I've got people looking for homes. Um, so talking about that, the average price in London is up a little bit too, $330,000. And I've heard from a few people that they think that uh, London has become an, a, a very expensive market. Well, compared to where we were a couple years ago for average home price, we've seen a bit of a jump, absolutely. We are still affordable. The average home price being around $330,000. Uh, what that's gonna get you is a three bedroom, two story home, maybe with a single car garage in a typical, you know, in an average neighborhood. Um, you pick average where you would like average to be. Renting that same home is gonna cost you probably in the 15 to 1800 range a month, plus utilities. A mortgage for that property, so $330,000 with 5% down, with only 5% down, with a 25 year amortization and with a three and a half percent interest rate because interest rates have crept up a little bit and um, we're gonna see them go up a little bit more, more than likely. That puts you at $1,600 a month. Um, and then you're gonna look at probably $200 a month in taxes, uh, maybe a little bit more than that, but right around there. So renting in London right now is about the same price as buying in and around the same type of property. Now, what, where this is cool is the people that are living in you know, a condominium or maybe a semi-detached home, something priced under $250,000 that are looking to move up, this is a lot more affordable than you thought, especially if you have more than 5% in, uh, coming out of the sale of your property. I would encourage you to reach out to your lender, uh, your mortgage person, talk to us. Uh, we can walk you through it and show you how there is still that potential for you uh, moving up into that house that you've been looking at.